going in there. They're in a rotisserie. They're going through the oil like that. The unit itself, we're going to do a whole bunch of uh, deviled eggs for you. We're having fun here, everybody. And this is a great machine. The reason you're buying it today, best price we've ever done on it, by $60. This is $249. It's now down to $189. Kelly Deedring is here, and you know Kelly. Kelly's always around when there's when there's great products good and good food. food. Kelly is here. Well, and this that's is why we love Wearing her. Pro. So yeah. we all know and love the name brand Wearing. This but, is the big. This is the. But, this is the. Fire. Yeah, the Pro is actually yeah. what brings the professional series into the consumer home. So this fryer is what you would find in like five star restaurants. Right. Okay, that's where we get the Wearing Pro from. But this, as far as I know, is the world's only indoor turkey fryer. I don't know of another one that has does quite what this one does. Look what it does. Have you ever done an outdoor turkey? It's a rotisserie. It's a rotisserie. So I'm going to pop our turkey up. Guy, ask me how much this, how big this turkey is. Uh, it's got to be at least 10, 15 pounds, no, 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 right? No, this is 18 pounds. 18 pound so turkey? So this will do up to an 18 pound turkey indoors. Oh so if you've ever used one of those outdoor fryers, you ever use one of those? I own one, he you know that. One. I, I used it the last that. time I used it was three years ago. Okay, the reason- You gotta buy five gallons of oil, You it's need ridiculous. five to six gallons of oil. They are a nightmare, literally every yeah. holiday season. We hear about homes burning down yeah. and fires starting because of those outdoor fires. This is an electric fryer. It's not dangerous. You can literally keep it on your kitchen countertop and do an 18 pound turkey in under 60 minutes. So I'll show you that it has the spring loaded handle. So mm -hmm. you can't, it's not dangerous at all because what happens is unless you're pulling that spring it catches on the top so right. you're not going to have the burst up of the oil mm -hmm. once you uh, drop that down in there it will activate that rotisserie and what you saw was that rotisserie spinning mm -hmm. around when it spins around it's not soaking up all the oil so what does that do for you it gives you a crispier turkey right. look at the skin on this yeah this, oh my god we're gonna let it that. rest and then eric's gonna come carve it for okay. us because you want to let it rest yeah, for yeah, yeah. a few we, minutes after it comes out of sit. the oil chef eric Under an an hour. Chef Eric is over here, and you'll see him running through the, the set from time well, to actually, time. Well, actually, Eric, Eric does this beautiful example of the, of the outdoor on, turkey buddy. fryer. How are you? Of the what? Outdoor turkey fryer. Oh, the, the scary one the where scary you have to put that big one. pot of oil yeah. that you probably have? Yeah, with the big, <laughs> it has like the blowtorch underneath. Does it sound like this? Go ahead. <laughs> That's exactly, exactly, that that's you exactly how it's out. <laughs> it's a that's little nerve-wracking. And let me tell you, I, I, I tried it one time. It was a lot of work. Yeah. It was scary. When you drop it in, you really have to kind of run back, back after up. you drop it in, as you know, because it's full of moisture. Of Very scary. And it literally does one thing. It, it fries turkey. turkey. Right. That's all it does. So and you I bring was, it out once a year. I was yeah. telling Kelly how crazy it was. I, I've done it twice. Yeah. I did it in the snow and windy. Yeah. So when it says, oh, it's going to take about two hours to heat up, heat up your oil. Right. That's in under perfect conditions. <laughs> Not let alone when the flame right. is going this way. Exactly. And you have this it's, five gallons of oil. It is not for just the average person to do a fried no. turkey yeah, outside. So it's, it is a lot of work. This is easy. Not only that, with all the, the electronic controls, you can't make a mistake. And boy, you right. can make mistakes with the big one. Oh yes. So so how do we do so it here, let's guys? Let's show you how to do it. Because okay. it, first of all, it does way more than turkeys. This is also a steamer where you're gonna do your giant clam bakes. But we're starting with our turkeys because guess what's coming up? Thanksgiving is coming up and we're all thinking about how we're going to do our turkeys. The DVD comes included. It shows you how to trust your turkey. If you're a little bit nervous about that, don't be. About it's literally it like yeah. one, two, three. It's yeah, easy. how to tie it up. It's so easy. Yep. So the DVD comes included. So does the butcher's twine to truss it with. You can see we've got it loaded in our basket. We have it loaded on our rotisserie. Now remember these have the spring-loaded handles. That's important because it won't, you won't have the oil splatter when you do that. All I do is set it down in the basket. Then it has this little toggle right up here, and I switch the rotisserie history to on. It'll take just a few minutes to activate and then it will start spinning mm -hmm. around, which means you get a crispier turkey. It means that your turkey isn't just sitting in and soaking up all right. of the oils. Right. So that's why we love this fryer because you can do your turkey inside. If you want to take it on a lanai, you can mm. do it on the lanai. Either way, it's going to be under an hour to get that beautiful turkey, crispy, yeah. crunchy, and, and it, and juicy. And it basically bathes itself in the oil, so you don't have to have it completely submerged. That's why you don't need to buy, you know, seven, eight gallons of oil to deal with that. It just pops in and it does its job, and that's how simple it is. Yes. Very easy. It's really easy. I know um, Eric is cutting into our turkey because what you're going to get is the crunchy Yeah, let us know when you're ready there, Eric. And that right. beautiful, right. juicy interior. So why, that's why, why we love a fried 
back. back. First of all, let's look. I want you to look at this bird. Just flip it around in a circle for everybody to see. Look at inside the cavity. This is gorgeous. That is what a deep fried turkey is. It's supposed to look like. The skin is crunchy. It's perfectly brown all the way around the outside. And notice, awesome. yeah, it's not dripping with grease. It's but fried. Can you hear that crunch? Yeah. Put your mic up there. Like, it's turkey bacon, man. That's what that is. It is so gorgeous. I right. love that. That's yeah. why people, you know, that's why people do the turkey fryers, guy. Oh but gosh. they get, you know, they get the kind of the outdoors and they're a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah. Look at what you get with this turkey. Oh my. Yeah. Hello. The crunchy exterior. That I'm gonna get right into the middle. White meat. So you can Look see at that. it. Look at that. And it's and it is so juicy. Oh my gosh. Eric, come me a little piece, bro. <laughs> you got it. Come me a little piece of that, because that really, that just looks phenomenal. And you see, I see, I love cutting it like that, so I'll grab this little piece. Can we a little, little, yeah, little, little salt on there, bro? Seasoning. That's the way. This is a done come seasoned, as far as you know. All right, so you're going to get in with the hands. How is that? It's unbelievable. That's the thing. There's nothing like a fried turkey. We've all, you know, thought about it and mm. maybe haven't tried oh it. Oh, my gosh. There's really no other flavor like a fried turkey. I know. It is absolutely the most beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Doesn't it just bring out the natural yeah. flavors of the turkey you when, you, when you kind of You don't it? have to overdo it. You know, you, 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 you can, if, if you want to brine it, that's up to you. I like to do that, but you don't have to because you do get that great turkey flavor. Best of all part is you get that skin. That skin is so crunchy. Yeah. Everybody and, goes after Oh this my skin. gosh, it's the best thing on earth. So what else can I do with All this right, machine? All right, so that's, we love it for the turkeys and you will use it a couple of times mm. a year for your turkeys because now turkey takes under an hour. But look what you can do. Now, instead of using oil, we've just used hot water or you could use like a white wine or some other mm. kind of sauce to steam. But look at what you can do. Now, Guy, I'm gonna let you do this because you're gonna be less messy with it. I have done almost 15 pounds. Dump that out wow. there for me. I'm eating 15 turkey. 15 pounds of seafood, but there's a little surprise in there for you, guy. We got a big bug at the bottom there, don't you? Two, Two. full-sized lobsters. <laughs> now, we just We're replaced... Need a bigger tray. <laughs> We did our shrimp. We did our corn. We have two full-size lobsters. You could do four or six probably within the capacity. That's Bam. about 15 to 20 pounds of seafood. Our corn, our potatoes, our shrimp. <laughs> that was done in about five to 10 minutes wow. in using the steaming feature. So instead of using oil, all you do is replace with water mm. or wine or whatever sauce you want to infuse. And look what you can do. And imagine pouring that over like newspapers. Wow. Um, oh my gosh, you know, yeah. Like a New England on, a, clam on, a picnic, on a picnic table, you on, can do that. So absolutely. the capacity is huge. I want to uh, give everybody a quick heads up. I have a thousand of these of these machines to go around. These are a customer pick on hsn.com. You're going to love how easy this, this is to use. Don't be afraid of, of doing the deep fried chicken. Or even if you just want to do fried chicken pieces. It's a great chicken fryer. Sure. Oh, this for, is an industrial. for big games? Yeah, this, this I is... I mean, imagine doing yeah. like 10 pounds of mozzarella sticks. Or uh, what we're going to showcase right here, which this is actually a new you know thing that we've just thought of because it's, what, deviled egg season? Yeah. Everybody's doing deviled eggs. Full of eggs. But we, it takes us forever to boil our eggs. You may have to do four or five, six batches just to get enough eggs to go to Bunko Night or go to the church group yeah. or go to the you know kids' games. Look what we've done. This is five dozen eggs wow. in 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, utilizing our deep fryer, just utilizing the steam feature. So these are the spring-loaded handles I was talking to you about. This is really packed with features, so I want to quickly go over them. Those are those spring-loaded handles, so nothing's going to pop out. Mm -hmm. It's very, very safe, and actually you can see them right there. It has that two and a half gallon capacity, whether that be oil, whether you use wine or water for steaming, the rotisserie function, uh, the steaming feature, which I'm showcasing, and what what else you get is the DVD. Right. That tells you exactly how to trust your turkey. It's and easy. Yeah. It's really easy to do. But I love for, for folks being able to see that because when we're talking about trussing a turkey, we're talking about just tying it tying up. Tying it up. Because what you, you know, when you put a turkey in a, in a uh, rotisserie, you want it to stay in one solid piece. You don't want like a wing falling off to the side or a leg. Right. So all it does is it keeps everything nice and compact when you are frying it. And it's, that's really the reason. So it gives you all that information. So you get your rotisserie spit right you, there. This that's is what, easy. Yep, that goes right yeah. on the top Open there. Open up. Boop. Put your, yep. tur your turkey or chicken on there and you put the little caps on the end just like that. Lock it in. There's a little, uh, the little wheel that goes in. Yep. It's actually your gear. And that's why the turkey spins around like that when it goes inside the oil. It allows you to not have to fill it and completely submerge yes. the bird in oil. Which is actually a healthier way to cook. It it's is. Flash frying and that yeah. way it's a little bit healthier. You're also getting the spout. This is what makes Wearing Pro heads and shoulders above any other brand out there in terms of fryers. You're going to be able to utilize this spout to reuse your oil because it comes with the tube. So all you have to do is drain. Nobody has to lift any oil. You drain it into your container.
It also comes with this great meat thermometer, and you're getting all of these parts and pieces, and it's just the flip of a switch. It also has the little breakaway cord on it, so going? that's just a safety feature. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie! Did somebody, I'm like, she's putting so down the Just trying to sneak in and go get the fried turkey. Well, did somebody say fried turkey? I'm like, that's my cue. We want to show you what Eric has done over here. Oh, I need and look at how beautiful. Look, he even I saw you standing it. in the wings. Yeah. I got you ready. Look, he even look salted how it for me. That is. <laughs> look at this platter. Honestly, is look that not amazing? There has never been a juicier, yummier turkey. Okay. This is, it's great. And when you, um, and people will fight over these pieces. Yeah, I'm will. telling you, they this is the biggest will. chicken wing you'll ever eat in your life. <laughs> There's the chicken leg right there. Turkey. Uh, or the turkey leg, <laughs> excuse me, sorry. Uh, the thigh over here, and then look at that breast meat right there. And I'm telling you, it's delicious, it's juicy. You know what I love? Give me the that. The little pieces that have, the pieces that have the little, the that little one's really bit of hot. skin on the top. I don't want to burn you. Right. Here. That's what I want. Here, little. take that. No. Just put it on a plate because it's hot. Ha. Ah, ah, burn yourself. Ah, we don't use I told plates. You. We don't use forks. <laughs> no. Yeah, that that kind of but, no. But think about this. Think about the cost yeah. of, the, of your turkey that you're going to get for your big pot. Think mm. of the five, five gallons, gallons that you have to purchase. Yeah. If you go, if you're going to go peanut oil, think of that cost yeah, it's times five. And it's the best that, oil to fry. Five, you know, yep. For that five gallons. Yeah. Then you can kind of understand why this is so important and so great. The oil costs as much as the fryer. And when, then what do you do? With, then what do you do with the fryer? It? My well, fryer is, was fifty or sixty bucks. Less, the oil was forty. This is less right. than half the away. oil of your traditional outdoor fryer. Mm. So you're not going to utilize as much oil. The reason we're able to do that is because we offer that rotisserie. So as your chickens or your turkeys spin, they're spinning in and out of the oil. Yeah. So we're talking a lot about turkeys. We're talking a lot about chickens. We're going to leave Leslie over <laughs> there to eat. Sure. I'll take care of this chicken wing for you. We're going to leave Leslie over there All to right. eat. But Show everybody what we got here. This you got is it? our rotisserie chicken. Look it. So throughout the remainder of the year, that's not the holiday oh season, so you gosh. can actually see them spinning right there. And yeah, let them I, spin. Yeah, Watch. let's let them we'll spin. Show, we'll show you how it works. So it very slowly and gradually bathes the chicken in the oil. In the it's oil. not submerged down underneath. It allows that skin to crisp up at a perfect, um, at a perfect get perfect results it's even is what i'm trying to say so yep. the whole thing will be crispy sometimes when you put a turkey in the bottom of a fryer it off cooks a little bit depending you have to kind of move it a little bit left to right which you don't want to do you know the last thing you want to do is go and pull that stuff out of the big deep fryer well that's because it's dangerous Look and we at hear how that all those looks. stories all you have to do is engage oh, those spring-loaded handles so you can see i'm doing that right there they're right. spring-loaded and then when i release it it sets up it top sets for you to be able to let it rest okay wow. look at the crispy crunch of those chickens now that was 15 minutes. Is, I, you know, it's, 15 minutes this to is, two six pound chickens. Look at, do you see the skin? Look at how, see it's, it's I mean it turns it's into like beautiful. a bacon on the outside. All you need to do is put these on a towel, let them rest for about 10, 15 minutes. And then they are beautiful for carving. And I'm telling you, the be, it's the best chicken or turkey or anything. And even if you like your battered uh, chicken pieces, you could do a whole big basket of fried chicken, right? A whole big basket. Big oh, giant we, basket. We of fried. have one right down what here. What are you doing but now? But this is like uh, six or seven pounds of mozzarella sticks. So imagine having. Stevie your, boy, we got mozzarella sticks. Imagine having your friends and family over <laughs> for the football games or whatever you know your occasion is. Maybe you take your fryer with you to to church, wow. to the kids, you know, soccer tournament, whatever it is. Look at the capacity you could feed. How many people could like, you feed with that many? You've got like ten pounds of. So so you just engage the spring-loaded handles. Mozzarella? These are mozzarella watch, watch, watch. sticks. Watch yeah. as that oil goes right to work uh, it's a in about sight right two there, Kelly minutes. Dietrich. These are yeah. going to be perfectly cooked. There was two of those, correct? Yeah, two three two, pound boxes. Two oh, giant boxes of, of fried mozzarella sticks. When you're having a party, this is ideal. I mean, uh, yeah, obviously you're not going to break this thing out every day of the week, but when you do hey break now, it out, you might if you live I, in my house. Yeah, I don't know if I'd advise it, but if you have, well, if you got this. 15 kids in the family, you might want to. <laughs> or if you just but, love the fried fried. You know what? But you're entertaining. You entertain once or twice a month. You have holidays. You got at least five or six or seven holidays during the year where I would use this yes. easily. Easily. Look at her over there che chewing on a giant chicken wing. You oh, see her over there? Leslie. I Girl, Leslie, I'm a it's as big as your head. The turkey, turkey wing. wing. She literally Big. has it like cave woman style. She does. This is cave woman style. So we were talking about having <laughs> friends and family over for yeah. the football games, whatever your favorite sport is. Look what we've done. Now these aren't just the little nubs. 
These are the full-sized chicken wings. Look what you can do. Oh, we got Let more. Me get you all in there. Yeah. Imagine yeah. being able to serve that at a party or a gathering and mm -hmm. telling your friends, oh, they, it's going to be the best, you know, chicken wings Ooh. that you've ever had. But the crunchiness of these is really going to surpass any way of cooking wings. You know, you can yeah. talk about baked wings and doing it, nah. you know, different. You really don't want to do that. Nobody when you're wants talking, a baked wing. When you're talking about doing beautiful foods for, you know, gatherings or even Are just you the Are crumbling holidays. blue cheese on top of there? God, Leslie I love missed Kelly out Deidre. on this. You gotta love her. <laughs> but look it's how so good. beautiful okay. these foods cook. Come on over here, because uh, our, our chef Eric is now working on the chickens. chickens. Uh -huh. And what, what you'll notice when you come in really close, look at how juicy. Look at that shot, Eric. Look at that shot right there. Ooh. Oh, is it? You just have to. You just have to wait and look at it. But deep frying does not oh. dry out no. your bird. In fact, and, and here's the best thing about it is, you know why? And Eric knows this. Why don't people make turkey more often? Because it takes forever. When you do a traditional baked turkey, when you got three, four, five hours to sit around, it does it in a fraction of the time, so it does save you money in the long run. And it comes with its own built-in uh, crispy skin. You don't have to batter your fried chicken. When you do it in, in this, I'm telling you, season it a little bit, a little bit of flour if you That's want. All you need. That's all you need to do. A little and look salt at that and pepper, one. maybe look a little bit meat. of rub. Yeah, your favorite seasoning. But oh look at gosh. that. You really do get the best results with frying. And now you can Those do are it already indoors done. Already done. in the safety yeah. of your kitchen. Look at our mozzarella sticks that we just started less than two minutes ago. 18 pound turkey Crazy. in about an hour. Three and a half minutes to four minutes per pound. That's insane, in poultry. one hour. Yeah. So no, no more getting up five hours early to cook your turkey. And remember, once you cook it, you let it sit. It'll stay hot for, for one to two hours. Yeah, it will. Afterwards, oh, it retains yeah. that heat. Yeah, you want it to rest. You Man. certainly do. But look at what you get. My you producer, get Jared, crispy, just said he wants to get a diving gooey, board and he just gooey. wants to dive <laughs> into the middle oh, of, look the, at that of that plate stick. of cheesy goodness. <laughs> Man. But just FYI, guy. Did you eat that whole chicken wing already? Or right, it's a turkey wing. I keep saying chicken. I, Leslie's sitting behind the camera over here just gnawing it. Come on out of here. Bring what's show. left of that. Guy, guy, guy. guy. You're missing out bone. on the donut. What's left of this? What are you making, donuts? Oh my we God, are we making donuts. homemade this donuts. Is not cute, but I'm going to dispose of this back here. Pre-made pre -made biscuit.